Hello viewers, this is Hey Rotlinia. Welcome back to some more Dragon Quest X. Previously, we concluded the events in Glen, and now I want to move on to the Pukuripo areas. So I'll create a temporary Pukuripo character for Pukureto, the starting Pukuripo area. I want to make this one a girl, based on the little white mage from Final Fantasy IV, Porum. Porum. There you go. And what would she be without a bratty brother? Palum. There you go, Palum. Porum and Palum. They are created. Now let's skip the intro events and get right to creating our Pukuripo character. Porum's soul is coming back up to the shrine. How sad. But this music is just gorgeous. There's the Pukuripo statue. To the right. So, let's head right for it. Time to get tiny, Porum. Even tinier than you already are. Yes, we'll make her a Pukaripo. First of all, height. I guess we'll make her a little on the tall side for a Pukaripo. Skin tone. Some interesting colors here. Little green folks. But how about this color? Ah, uh, hairstyle. How about this ponytail with a nice bow? Now for hair color. How about... How about a greenish color? Ear shape? How about these little pointed ears? Eye shape? I think I like those. Those look a bit devious. How about these eyes? Eye color. Mm, how about this? There you go, Porum. And in keeping with Porum being a white mage, I'll make her a priest. Well, that was a cute gesture. 
and priests aren't quite as nerfed in this as they are in as white mages are in Final Fantasy. Here they do get spears and staves. And Porum is about to get her adventuring log. Congratulations, Porum. Off to the world of Astoltia. Or Astortia, or however they wish to translate it. Regardless, we are now off. And it's time to go to online mode. Logging in. Porum detected. Uh, sure, I guess. Porum. That is acceptable. And she's been registered. Yes, Porum, let's log you in. We'll begin our journey in Pucaretto. Server 21. Ah, uh, a beautiful night. A horse-drawn carriage. But what's all that stuff on the carriage, huh? Hello, sir. What are you carrying back there? Ah, that must be Porom's spirit. A coffin. Could that belong to a Pukaripo named Porum? There is my soul again. Inside it goes. Uh oh. <laughs> he seems to have Tornacotalun's taste in pants. Foo! Foo coo! Foo coo! Pukuretto! It's alive! Hello there. <laughs> Surprised, sir? The land of Pukuripo. <laughs> 
Ha, Paru? Yes, the gentleman's name is Tiltskin. Tirutsukin. <laughs> Fupu Hepeku Something about timing Well, that look is a tad devious. <laughs> Don't be too worried, Tiltskin. Thank you for the lift. See you later, sir. Sayonara. See you later, folks. Oh, is everything okay, kiddo? Here we are in Pucaretto Village. No need for the guide. So, here we are as Porum in Pucaretto Village. The first bit of our story here. Obviously speaking about Nuggle a little bit. And that Porum has gone into a Pukaripo's body. We start out as a level 1 priest. With the heal spell, Hoemi. Uh, start out with a wand. We also get a bamboo spear. As well as a staff. Let's go with the spear. And we can put the wand on this slot. There we go. Hello, Pina. Give us our angel slime hat. Yep, we'll take it. And we'll equip it. Ah, oh, yes. It fills in the ensemble perfectly, doesn't it? Now we'll talk with Puno over here. Puno has a quest for us. <whistles> Qu 
Quest 132, An Introduction to Photography. Telling us about holding button 6 to bring up the camera. The jump button. So, you're on candid camera. Hold down the jump button. And the camera should hopefully come up. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. And we'll take the picture. Yep, we can get to our album on that site. Next, we'll have to go out to Pucaretto Field to photograph an odd occurrence. You like to talk in song, I see. Do you sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks when you're singing? Hopon. Etene. We know nothing of Etene here. You must be crazy in the head for talking about something like that. You'll fit right in here. Anyway, we need to go to Piripo's house which is at C5, D5. Here is a pot. Looks bigger than I am. So here at D5, we'll visit Piripo. Hey, Petey Po. Oh, what's this? Did somebody win a contest? Rura stone, eh? We'll take a Rura stone. Oh, do you not have it with you? Or do we have to do something to earn it?
what's up? Oh, hello again. This little guy is Poutine. Hello, Poutine. What's wrong, Poutine? I like how Porom is still smiling away, oblivious. Ooh, 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 yeah! Oh, here come the waterworks. What's wrong, little Poutine? We better get out before the house floods. So, that is that. Obviously, we'll have to do something to get that Ruda stone. Hello, Hoporu. Well, let's head down to the beach. We can pick up a couple of things down there. Here at D7, we can farm four. Seashells. Seashells by the seashore. And we can find more stuff to farm over here at E7. Ah, oh, seashells. Seashells to sell. Someone in here seems to have some story info. Fubai? No. There we go. Most fascinating. Our next storyline stop will be the mayor's house, which is right here at F4. And within, we want to talk with this distinguished looking Pukuripo. Pukure at F4. Interesting move, sir. Yep, I want my Ruta Stone. You're quite demonstrative, aren't you, sir? You're in my personal space now, sir.
Eidos, eh? I remember that name. From the Glen storyline. We need to head to the Popora region, which is to the west of the Pucoretto region. And from there, go to the Philosopher's Hideout. So, we have our mission from the Mayor to get our Ruta Stone. And we get two whole gold. Now let's drop down this well at F4. See what there is to find. Hmm, some birthday candle torches. And here is a chest in the well. It contains three medicinal herbs. Very good. Now let's visit this house. No, not this house. This house at G4. And we'll talk with Hanpon within. Another quest giver. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You do have a distinguished-looking mustache, but I am afraid you're just too cute to take seriously. But in all seriousness, we're taking on the Pucaripo Introduction to Communication. Quest one. Our first goal is to open up the emote menu by holding down the cancel button, and then we'll choose a random emote. <laughs>
now we have to locate a Pukuripo named Ponina. Of course, good sir. And of course, we can find her using the map. And we'll have to say to her, Mitsuketa. All right, sir. I will get right on it. Ponina, she's over there at C6, behind Piripo's house. Sudden brightening. Ah, here is Ponina. I believe she is playing hide and seek at C6. And we want to say to her, Mi Tsu Ke Ta. Alright, Ponina. Now we have to go report back to her father. I do believe that's her father we were speaking with a moment ago. She's flipping. All right, Tompone. We found her. We get 12 experience points, 9 fame points, and quest one is concluded. And we've reached level two so soon. Thank you, Hanpon.
now it's time to leave the safety of Pukureto Village and head north to Pukureto Region. Hello, Pukureto. And I see slimes. What's going on, slimes? Goodbye. And hello to you. So long. Just like that. Level 3. And we learn Kiari. Or Squelch. We now have Kiari or Squelch. At the base of this tree at D6, we can find red berries. Oh, some little green guys. Hello there. Goodbye. Ah, nine. That's better than the slimes. Goodbye. Hello there. I would like to stab you. Many thanks. Now we've reached level four. And here at D6 we can farm four. Branches. Alright, here at C6 we can farm four. More branches. Stuff that we can sell later on. Don't you hop away from me. I surprised it. Goodbye. And we got the drop on another. I love it when that happens. Now here at B6, we can farm for a medicinal herb.
Hop along slimes. We're on a roll of surprising enemies, aren't we? That's a good roll to be on. Hello there. Ah, you brought a friend. I'll take care of your friend first. And then I'll take care of you. How's that? Goodbye. And we've reached level 5. We've learned Rihoimi or Reheal. Rihoimi will give you a regen effect. Anyway, behind this house at B7, we find a treasure chest with three magic vials. They restore about 10 MP apiece. Nothing too opulent, but they are good to have around. Hello there. And goodbye. Oh, I have stopped getting a bonus from them. Here at B8, we can farm four seashells by the seashore. Ah, oh, a new type of enemy. A bird. Kukuru. Bye bye, birdie. Hello to another one. Stabbed in the back. Now here at B8, the western side of B8, we can get more shells. What's up, birdie? Oh, trying to cast sap on me, are you? I don't think that will help you too much. Ooh, two points of damage. And I've reached level six. Anyway, here at A8, another seashell spot. Now, Popopi, here at A7. This is what we need to photograph for whatever the quest number is. Quest 132. You're on candid camera, Popopi. Looks like a wooden figure or something. Here it is. 
Popopi photographed. And here's our Popopi photograph. That, of course, is our adventure log. Well, hello there. Get some regen up. And try to sap out some MP. Bye bye. Hmm, there's a cave entrance over here. I don't think we need to mess around with that, though. Pardon me. Now here at B6, at the base of this tree, we can farm for more branches. Now, to get to the Popora region, we have to take that exit at A4. First, we've got a couple more farming spots we can check out. Always helpful to farm stuff because it can be sold for gold. If you don't intend to use it in crafting, that is, here at C5, we can farm for a medicinal herb. Now, when we get to that bridge, we're going to cross it. I guess those are supposed to be Pukuripo heads. On this side, we have some new foes. Fur rats. Curious little critters. They seem to have three eyes. Goodbye. Here at B4, we can farm for cotton. And the sun seems to be going down. Hello, fur rat. Bye bye. Here at the base of this tree now, at B3, we can farm for red berries. We'll now make a beeline for the exit. A4, the exit to Popora. Here now in Popora, we want to head down to H6.
That's the Philosopher's Hideout. Oh, some little squids here. Pucianon. Goodbye. We can farm for some things in this pool here. At G4. An antidotal herb. And fresh water. We now have a chest here at F4. And it contains... Some silk blooms. Three of them. Now that is the cave we wish to go to. Here at G5, we can farm four. I'm guessing that's a type of walnut. Here at G5, we can farm four antidotal herbs and more fresh water. Hello there, sea slime. I see you. Yado, eh? Casting crack at me. I do not appreciate it. Aha! Out of MP! Yes, pretty high defense. Bye bye. Level seven. We learn Zameha. Zameha. That cures something, but I'm not sure exactly what. I know it's not curse. Anyway, here we are at H6, at the entrance to the Philosopher's Hideout. Let's poke our heads inside, see if we can find that Eidos character. Well, someone is hiding out in here. Hmm. Some sort of enchanted glyph. Ah, there's Eidos. That stuff does not look nice.
You shall not pass! Yes, drive that darkness away, sir. Hmm? Yep, I'm over here, sir. Meddle not in the affairs of wizards. Nezumi? Rura stone, yes. What is it, sir? Pudine. Yep, we'll have to go back to Pucoretto to speak with Pudine again. Hopefully, he hasn't flooded the house. So we have come and chatted with Eidos. Eidos the Green. If that is indeed his qualification. Thank you, sir. Mm, we can't get past his seal, though. All right. Anything to examine amongst your stuff? Anything we can take? No? All right. So, in the next episode... We'll head back to Pucoretto Village and chat with Houdin again. This is Hey Rotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.